Hey guys, today I will tell you how to make Anchari Bindi and for that we will need these spices. 1 tab- uh, uh, teaspoon re- uh, chili flakes, chili powder, sukha dhania, gold sukha mirch, zira, sauf, black pepper powder, white, white, uh, black pepper powder, khatta, khatai powder, chaat masala and haldi powder everything should be one teaspoon and uh, haldi should be half teaspoon first i have put oil in the pan and i am frying the bindis and i am going to fry all of them and when they are fried then i am going to add one tablespoon of lemon juice in it and i am going to mix it then I am going to add some chilies. I am going to cut them from the middle and going to just throw them in the pan so that they can also be fried with the with the bindis. From this method, you can also get rid of the stickiness and you can also have a new taste. So I have added a uh, sukha dhania and uh, gold lal mirch into it. I have sautéed them for a while. When they are sautéed, then I have added the onions and now i'm going to um to make the onions turn a little soft then i'm going to add all the spices which i've showed you al- uh, al- earlier and i'm only going to add one teaspoon of each of the spices and going to mix it continuously and i'm going to add salt as per required so i'm adding all the spices and mixing it i only have added Suka dhania and gold lal mirch before and um, after the onions have turned brown then I have added the rest of the spices and now I have added a yogurt into it half cup actually it's not half cup it's uh, it's going to be three to four tablespoons approximately and when they are completely mixed now I'm going to add one cup of tomato puree into it i have taken one tomato and just blended into a blender and i have got the puree i am mixing it together and when i think it's perfect when the puree is in this consistency then we are going to add our fried bindi into it and that's all we need it's ready so simple and easy right just going to mix the bindi with the puree and going to put a lid on it and leave it for five minutes after five minutes here we are and it's completely ready and i have cooked all of this on medium to low flame so if you liked my recipe please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and comment down below what should i make next for you guys and what should be the next recipe that you want to know please let me know thank you